Before we start the weekly construction meeting, let me greet you with pleasant good afternoon. Welcome to our construction management meeting number 67, as cut off dated August 20th to 26, 2020. Furthermore, let me inform you that any comments or additional matter will discuss afterwards this video presentation. First, we bring you the update photos of building exterior. On the left screen, shown the facing it saw and Connecticut Street. And, the other side, the elevation of Connecticut Street and Florida Street. For site accomplishment, dated August 20th to 26, 2020. For structural works, the activities are concreting a 14 floor phase 1 and 16 floor elevator shear wall 2. Then, target or preparation for next week or 14 floor phase 2 and 3, including 17 floor elevator shear wall 1. Progress photos for structural works 14th floor slab at phase 1, 16th floor to 17th floor shear wall 2. 13th floor columns at phase 2 and 3, and 14th floor columns at phase 1. Architectural works. Masonry. Activities for this week are, CHB laying a ground floor, CHB laying a rubbed con at second floor, CHB laying a can critting a precast at third floor. Progress photos for architectural works. Rubbed con at columns and wall at phase 3, second floor to third floor and can critting of elevator precast at third floor phase 2. Now, we continue on accomplishment of glass works. The update activities for this week is the installation at 9th floor on the rear side of Florida Street, and installation of louvers at 7th floor, still, on the rear side of the building. Next for the update activities of glass is the installation at 9th floor on the front side of its saw, and installation of louvers at 4th floor and 5th floor, still, on the front side of the building. These are the photos taken inside the building for the installed curtain glass wall located at 9th floor on the front side of the building facing its saw. This is the photo taken inside the building for the installed curtain glass wall located at 9th floor on the left side of the building facing Connecticut Street. This is the photo taken inside the building on the same floor for the installed curtain glass wall on the rear side of the building facing Florida Street. Furthermore, this is the installed curtain glass wall located at 8th floor on the front side of the building facing its saw. Now, in this update photo, we are on the 7th floor, facing its saw, on the installed curtain glass wall with installed louvers. While on the 5th floor, as shown in the photo, facing its saw, on the installed curtain glass wall with installed louvers. Then on the floor below, which is the 4th floor, as shown in the photo, facing its saw, on the installed curtain glass wall with installed louvers. As shown in this photo, on the same floor, is the installed curtain glass wall but without louvers, located on 4th floor at the rear side of the building facing Florida Street. Now we proceed on MECF's works. First for the electrical works, the activities for this week are roughing installation at 13th floor phase 1. And 17th floor elevator lobby, which is highlighted color blue. For next preparation color red, is the 13th floor phase 2 and phase 3. The progress photograph shown the roughing installation of 13th floor phase 1 lighting, power and auxiliary. Next. The progress photograph shown the roughing installation of 17th floor elevator lobby. Lighting, power and auxiliary. And then. The roughing installation at 13th to 14th floor stair 1, lighting and auxiliary. Lastly, the roughing installation for auxiliary system at 3rd floor stair 2. For accomplishment of plumbing works. The progress accomplishment for this week is the 13th floor phase 1 shown the highlighted color blue. Next target or preparation works is the 13th floor phase 2 and phase 3 showing the highlighted red. The highlighted color yellow is the ongoing installation, the vertical and horizontal pipes installation in the 8th to 10th floor level. For the progress photograph of plumbing works shown the sleeping of FCU drain at 13th floor phase 1. Next photograph shown the ongoing installation of 150 mm pipe and 200 mm PVC pipe stacks and inspouts at stair 2 pipe chase area from 8th to 10th floor level. Next photograph shown the ongoing installation at 4 inches GI pipe potable and non potable cold water supply pipe riser at stair 2 pipe chase area from 8th to 9th floor level. Lastly, the photograph for installation at 50 mm pipe and 75 mm pipe FCU drain collector pipes at 9th floor level. For accomplishment of fire protection works. The progress accomplishment for this week is the 13th floor phase 1. 
and 17th floor elevator lobby which highlighted color blue. Next target, or preparation works, is the highlighted color red which is 13th floor phase 2 and phase 3, for the ongoing installation which is color yellow, cross main and branch line in the basement floor levels and 4th floor level. For the progress photograph of fire protection works, shown as leaving a cross main and branch line in 13th floor phase 1. Next photograph is shown of pipes leaving a branch line in 17th floor elevator lobby. Next photograph is shown the installation of branch line in basement 3 and basement 4. Next photograph is shown the installation of cross main and cross T at 4th floor level. For accomplishment of mechanical works. The progress accomplishment for this week is the 13th floor phase 1 and 17th floor elevator lobby pipe sleeming. Next target or preparation works is the 13th floor phase 2 and phase 3 sleeming. For the progress photograph. It's shown sleeping for our at 13th floor phase 1. Accomplishment report for cantricking works and glass installation. From August 20th to August 26, 2020. Thirteenth floor columns at phase one, phase two, and phase three. Fourteenth floor suspended slab at phase one. Sixteenth floor shear wall two. Seventeenth floor elevator lobby, and fourteenth floor columns at phase one. And preparation works are the following: seventeenth floor shear wall one. Fourteenth floor suspended slab at phase two and three. Glass and louver installation facing its saw. Glass installation at 9th floor. Louver installation at 5th floor. Louver preparation at 3rd and 6th floor. Glass works facing Connecticut Street. Glass installation at 7th floor and 9th floor. Glass preparation at 8th floor. Louver accomplishment at 7th floor. Louver preparation at 4, 5th and 6th floor. And lastly glass works facing Florida Street. Glass installation at 9th floor. Glass preparation at 7th and 8th floor and louver preparation at 4th and 5th floor. And that's the accomplishment report for cantricking works and glass installation. Thank you. Preparation photos for structural works. 14th floor slab at phase 2 and 3. Preparation photos for architectural works. Plastering of stair 1 and 2nd floor phase 2. CHB Lang CR telecom rooms at 2nd floor phase 2 and 3 and rubbed cot of ceiling at 2nd floor to 3rd floor phase 3. Now, for the side preparation for August 27th to September 2nd 2020 for the curtain glass walls. The installation of embankments will be on the active floor, 14th floor, phase 2. For MEPS works. The target or preparation for August 27th to September 2nd 2020 is 13th floor phase 2 and phase 3 or in actual cantriting is the 14th floor phase 2 and phase 3. For project schedule and percentage accomplishment as of August 26th 2020. On milestone project update. The weekly updated concrete works is 17 floor which cantrited dated August 26th 2020. For construction schedule. The update construction days elapsed as cut off dated August 20th to 26, 2020 is 538 days or equivalent to 45.32%. The construction day remaining is 649 days or 54.68%. For the project accomplishment, the schedule for general requirements is 346% compared to actual percentage of 7.64%. For C, S, A, it's of 27.16% on schedule accomplishment while the actual percent is resulting of 27.39%. In M, E, P, F, the accomplishment is behind on required schedule because the result of actual is lower compared to schedule accomplishment. The schedule accomplishment is 5.35% while the actual is 0.53 present. In overall accomplishment, the result of schedule compared to actual is negative 0.41% or equivalent number of days of 5 days. Manpower loading from August 20th to 26, 2020. Highest manpower last Tuesday, August 25th, 2020 at 316. For accomplishment of cantricking particularly on Rebars, the present accomplishment is 0.67% with total accumulated percentage of 59.08%.
In Fairworks, they got accomplishment of 1.04% with total accumulated percentage of 40.85%. Lastly on Cantriting, the accomplishments are 0.42% with total accumulated percentage of 48.68%. For accomplishment report for architectural works is of August 26, 2020. First, I discuss the scope of work, have earned accomplishment. For masonry, for this week, it gained 0.61% with total percent of 15.35%. Next is the floor finishes, for this week, it's achieved 0.02% with total percent 17.20%. Then, wall finishes, this week, it got 0.11% with total percent 3.34%. And, next, glass and aluminum, has accomplished this week of 1.41% with total accomplishment of 16.96%. Rest scope have no accomplishment. For structural schedule. The update for this week on cantriting work is the 14 floor phase 1 and 16 floor elevator shear wall 2. Target for next week is the 14 floor phase 1 and 2, including 17 floor elevator shear wall 1. For look ahead accomplishment, on cantriting and glass installation target August 27th to September 9, 2020. Here with is the one week look ahead for cantriting works which target August 27th to September 2nd, 2020. First is the precast installation at 13th floor, followed by 14 floor slab, phase 2 and 3. And, 17 floor elevator shear wall 1. Lastly, is the 14 floor column phase 1, for 2 weeks look ahead, 14 floor column phase 2 and 3. Then, 17 floor elevator shear wall 2. Then 18 floor slab lobby. Lastly, 15 floor slab, phase 1. Now, we proceed on glass installation of Arlo. For at saw portion, the one week activities is installation of ventilation louver. Next is two weeks look ahead, installation of glass. Now, we proceed on Connecticut side. For one week activities, installation of glass at 8th floor. Next is the ventilation louver from the 4th to 6th floor level. For two weeks activities, installation of glass at 8th and 9th floor level. Then, installation of ventilation louver at 2nd to 3rd floor level. For floor to side, the one week activities is the installation of glass at 6th to 7th floor. For ventilation louver, 4th to 5th floor level. For two weeks look ahead, installation of glass at 8th to 9th floor level. And lastly, ventilation louver at 3rd floor, down to 2nd floor level. Note. Are low of a minimum accomplishment, due to interval and cantriting works. This is the end of our look ahead presentation, for cantriting and glass installation. Thank you. For meeting agenda. The agenda of the meeting number 67 is well discussed below. First, we discuss the project accomplishment by our general contractor for structural works. The target project accomplishment for Cantriting is 177 cubic meter against actual volume of 355 cubic meter. And next preparation for Cantriting is 290 cubic meter. For rebars, the target accomplishment is 64,122.87 kg against actual of 62,048.19 kg. And next target or preparation with 67,245.97 kg. For construction issue, cantriting schedule, as per actual cantriting August 26, 2020. For F slab area 1, schedule is August 16, 2020 and actual cantriting is September 3, 2020. 16th floor shear wall 2, schedule is October 13, 2020 and actual cantriting August 25, 2020.
Projection of Kankreting August 27 to September 2, 2020. 14 floor slab area 2 is September 9, 2020 and target for Kankreting August 28, 2020. 14 floor slab area 3 is scheduled September 15, 2020 and target for Kankreting August 28, 2020. Masonry works. As per actual masonry August 26, 2020. Mezzanine level, schedule of completion is September 4, 2020. Note. Completion by next week second floor, September 14, 2020. I'm going to see a Escalation of balance of work to complete for. Closed out of Kankreting basement 4 SOG. Mechanical pipe chase at basement level. Note. 54 days delayed at basement 4 level. 8 floor toilets. 7 floor parking elevator shear wall. Elevator brochures, for follow up the acknowledgement to building interior designer. Care off NGCB. Note. Approved by owner and slag architects. Follow up progress accomplishment for painting works for NGCB. Follow up the application of exterior sealant for NGCB. Submission of sample board materials for JSLA and owner approval for trade contractor. Follow up for owner special trade contractor. IEEI Gansett. Setting up plan or schematic drawing. IEEI elevator. Note. These are several follow up. Revised shop drawing based on RNC comments last July 21, 2020. Note. Incorporate the bid scope of work on shop drawing. Method of statement. IEEI Erkin. Inspection of area at 8th floor prior delivery of materials. NEMA substation. Setting up plan or schematic drawing. Other matters. This is the end of our weekly presentation. Thank you and God bless.